Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Reagan. So I have been on a little bit of a low buy this year. I haven't talked about it publicly. I didn't want like the I know this is weird. I'm not like a huge YouTuber by any means, but I didn't want the quote unquote public pressure to be on a no buy where I had to like blog it and talk about it and blah, blah, blah. I just kind of did it. And it was inspired because I did a house renovation last year and I just realized how much stuff I had. We had to keep like, we lived in our house through the renovation. Horrible, horrible idea. I do not recommend it. Zero out of 10. Don't recommend that at all, but we did it. And I just realized how much stuff I had and I really wanted to get like use stuff up, but I didn't do a no buy. I did like a lower buy. And I've really like, because of this, I've realized the stuff I really like. And because of it, I'm also becoming a lot choosier of what I'm purchasing and bringing into my home and my life because I like to use things to empty. I really do. There's just gratification between using and loving a product, being done with it, it's in life cycle putting it in the recycling bin and being done with it. I know like when I first started YouTube, these big makeup, like people with huge drawers of just thousands of lipstick was the huge thing. I do not want that anymore. That's too stressful. I do not need that clutter in my life. No, no, no. I like makeup. I'll always have more than the average person probably. It's a hobby of mine. I love beauty. I'll probably have more than the average person, but I don't need to make this kind of a toxic place for me and like, my house just being overrun with products and that's how I felt for a while. So yeah, we're not doing that anymore, but we're focusing on the things that we like. I will try new things now and then, but I also am just not as much into getting like the latest, newest thing just for the case of review. If I get it, you know, if I get it in PR, I'll talk about it. I'll review it eventually. I'm probably not going to be the first video that goes up about it. There's just too much things going on in life to do that anymore, but yeah, uh, I will review things still, but it's just, I'm going to be a lot pickier about reviewing them. But today I wanted to talk about things that I have repurchased consistently. You'll see like, I have like multiples of empties, multiples of the product. Let's roll in, let's just chat, kick back, relax, enjoy the ride. All right, so the first product is this cleanser. So this is Ursa Major's Fantastic Face Wash. So I have loved this, guys. I have this in every single size. So I first tried this out in this mini, and I really liked it. So then I had this full size, really liked it. Then I got this, and I used this up because I was empty of both of these. So I got this in like a GWP, used this up. And then I was all empty of all of them. So I bought this one um, and it's Ursa Major's Fantastic Face Wash. And I like it because it's a nice gel face wash. So it does foam up a little bit, which is what I like. I like a little bit of like a sudsy facial cleanser, but it's not super harsh. They do have some fragrance or like essential oils or something in this, maybe some essences. I'm just trying to see. Yeah, they have some oils in this, like some sugar maple, they have lavender flower water. Okay, so they don't use any essential oils to scent this, but it is not like a fragrance-free product and it doesn't use any perfumes or anything. So it's very natural. It's just a very warm woodsy scent. And I really liked it. It's very unisex in scent. I think even in branding, pretty unisex. So if you're looking for something, it's not the most expensive face wash ever, not the cheapest, but you know, I get eight ounces of this, this will last me a few months and I just love it. I keep this in my shower. It's a great shower facial cleanser and I'll repurchase it again. And I did. So I wanted to share that with you guys. It's just, it's kind of basic, but I like it. And I like the scent and I like the product experience. So yeah. So when we're in the face category, I want to talk about Tower 28 and my obsession with their daily rescue facial spray. This stuff has revived my skin so many times. So the first time that I got it, I wasn't obsessed with it. I actually thought it was supposed to be like a makeup setting spray. And I just didn't understand like, what was the big deal about this? This was their old packaging. And I was like, that's fine. Like it's okay, but it wasn't anything special. But then I got the worst eczema this past year. I've had some really bad reactions to product. My skin has been super sensitized and I used this and I used this and I used this. So I ordered this to refill because it's that good. My skin loves it. 
drinks it in. It has very basic ingredients to it. So let me just see. It has water and then sodium high uh, chloride and then hypochlorous acid. These are really good ingredients for eczema prone skin and sensitive skin. I'd highly recommend this. I'm trying to use, I mean, for cleanser, I can get away with using something that has a little bit of something that scents it. I don't want to say fragrance and I don't want to say essential oils because that's not what the Ursa Major has. This has no scent though. So if it's staying on my skin, I prefer things that have no fragrance to them because the longer it sits on my skin, you know, I could have a reaction or something. So yep, this has been one that I've loved, really helped my skin a ton. And I've refilled all of these. And I even have a mini, uh, another mini of this that's in my gym bag. I just didn't pull out because you can see that I love this. All right, and then body oil. So I had a full size of Diosia that isn't this one. This is the big glug jug, like economy size pot economy. You know what I'm saying? Like their biggest bottle that they had. I had a medium one. I can't find it. I looked through all my empties. It wasn't in there, but I know I've talked about it with you guys on here that I've loved that. I think I just recycled the bottle. So this is their Andaria algae body oil. So I did use up a mini of this. I used up like a medium full size and then I repurchased this big one. So this is 9.6 fluent ounces. What I love about this is the scent. It smells very light and sweet. I would say it's more citrusy, natural, kind of candy-ish, citrusy, natural, and it absorbs so nicely into the skin. I love a good shower oil. That's my favorite thing to use after the shower. It's just super quick and easy. Rub it all into my body. Then my skin's nice and moisturized. And this is really lightweight, not sticky, easy to use, smells great. And I will keep repurchasing this because I think I just found like my go-to. And again, I'll try other things now and then, but I'm just going to be a lot pickier about them. And I haven't had any bad reactions to that or anything. Again, my whole body has become like sensitized to stuff. So I'm very particular. All right. And I repurchased this like six times. So I got these in a Beauty Hero subscription box. It's the Prima Sleep Tight. It's their calming hemp blend. So this is a nighttime sleeping supplement. I did a whole post about like non um, addictive, that was the word I was looking for, sleep supplements. I have that on my blog. I'll link it down below. But this is one of my favorite ones. So again, it's from Prima and it has 20 mgs of hemp CBD per serving plus 5 HCP GABA and passion flower. This has been a really good sleep supplement. A lot of them are BS and I've tried some that I'm like, and eh, that didn't really work. This I feel like keeps me asleep. This really does help me have a really good night's sleep. And yeah, I repurchased it multiple times. I'm currently not on it. I feel a little bit of a difference, but I'm able to sleep. And again, I really wanted to test a bunch of supplements before I was like, oh, they're not addictive. I've all tested them all myself and I can still sleep without anything, but I do have a better night's sleep when I take this stuff. So it's a little pricier of one. That's why I don't have it right now. I'm kind of waiting until Black Friday deals to like stock up on it. I will repurchase it again, but I think it's a really good one and I highly recommend it. So I couldn't find any empties of this, but I know that I have them. And this is my favorite lip serum from Fit Glow Beauty. It's their night time lip serum. It's a little bit more expensive than their color lip serums. I think this is the best of them all. I do love my color lip serums. They're great for daytime. I think this is great for all the time though, because like right now I can use a little bit and then put it on top of my lipstick. And it's just such a unique formulation. It almost feels like it's silicone, but it's not. It's so slick, so moisturizing, has a nice vanilla -y scent to it. My lips just feel so good and hydrated when I use this. And yeah, I have used this till empty and then I do have a mini in my car that I just didn't want to grab. But this is one that I've used up. We'll keep purchasing. We'll keep in my life. Even if I decide to never create a video and again, I will be repurchasing that one. going to get emotional talking about this one because um, they don't exist anymore. But I still wanted to mention them because I stocked up before they went out. So this is Vapor's brand, Taos AER. They both have been out, gone, been out, gone out of business within this last year, at the end of 2022. I love their deodorant. The Lavender Mert was my ride or die. I stocked up before they shut down. I'm not gonna give them too much quote unquote airtime just because they don't exist anymore. You guys can't find them. And even once I'm done with this, I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
frankly, I really don't. I'm trying some new deodorants that are okay, but this was just such a consistent ride or die that worked for me. So soft. My husband liked it. I got him a couple of the more like foresty scents before they shut down. And I like Schmitz. I like Native. They're not the same. This is a little bit softer of a formulation. It doesn't irritate my underarms. I think it uses a little bit of baking soda. I need some baking soda, but I need it to be the right formulation so it doesn't irritate. This was just perfect. I think it's worth stocking up on things like deodorant and toothpaste because you'll use them. And this was one that I stocked up on. And these are the ones we have left. So... Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, so we're at the midpoint, but this last section will be all about hair care. I feel like I'm not as loyal with some skincare and makeup products. Like there are things I really like. Like I like my Fit Glow Concealer. There are mascaras I like, but I'll always try like newer things when it comes to makeup. But all of this skincare and body stuff is like just stuff that I'm like, I'm just with that brand right now. And probably will be for quite a while. So this is where like kind of my brand loyalty lies. But with hair care, these have been the products consistently I have liked for years at this point. I've repurchased them. I've recommended them. I did a whole like non-toxic hair care blog recently. It's one of my most popular blog posts. And these seriously are the products that I will repurchase probably until the brand doesn't exist or I don't exist. Straight up. They work with my hair that well. I have been through a hair journey with kind of cleaner hair products. And these are the things that work. They're the things I recommend. And yeah, they just, they work. Like that's the thing is so much other stuff I've tried that's like natural or whatever was crap. And it just didn't work. It wasn't effective hair care. And I will say in the clean space, this is just going off on a random tangent. I do not think there's a good clean hairspray. You can kind of mess around with product and make it have like more hold. But if you're looking for a hairspray, I've yet to find one. And yes, I've tried many brands. Even some of the brands I'm, it's my babies. Even some of the brands I'm talking about today do have hairsprays, but I don't love them. So yeah, that's just something I've never found yet that I've liked a lot. Or I found one, but then the brand went out of business. So there, yeah, there's just issues with the hairspray. So if someone wants to come out with the product, it's a good, clean hairspray that actually works and is not aerosol. That's difficult, I know. All right, so my favorite shampoo and conditioner, the Evolve H Smart Color. So I have this in their Glug Jug Leader sizes, and then I do have this, uh, these smaller ones. This one is totally full. These are almost empty. I did purchase these because I've had this for a long time. So I'll say they last a long time. They're very pricey. I do think they're worth it. Um, I just have a lot of other hair care I'm trying to use up. So I do like to have this in my shower because it's the best shampoo and conditioner. This is the best shampoo I've tried at cleansing the scalp, leaving the hair clean, and my scalp is not dry. The conditioner is not too heavy, but it leaves my hair feeling very soft. It smells nice. It has kind of a citrus scent to it. And this has been like my ride or die shampoo and conditioner duo for a very long time. I bought the smaller ones, like I repurchased the smaller ones instead of the big leaders, just because those took me a long time to use. I will probably always keep this size in my shower because I'm still, you know, creating content and I want to leave space if I do want to try something new because I do have some other brands in my shower right now that I like. But these are like my ride or dies. If I try a brand I don't like their shampoo and conditioner, I will rewash my hair and use this and it works like a charm every time. So love these, have repurchased them, have given them as gifts to family members and would highly recommend. It's truly the best shampoo and conditioner in clean hair care. It's the most salon-like quality shampoo and conditioner. There are other ones because they have other ones aside from the color. I do like which one do they have? That I like. I like their color and then I like their just, I think it's like their volumizing one. All right. And then I'm empty almost of this one and I'm totally empty of this. I need to purchase this. They're smart start and I've emptied this out a couple times before. This is one of the best, actually it's the best detangler in clean beauty. It's the most salon like quality of the hair cares. I do love their Wonder Bomb too. I didn't include it in this. I probably should have. I do have an empty of it somewhere and I do have a full size of it. I don't know why I didn't grab those, but I love their Wonder Balm as well. It's very salon quality hair care. This is as well. Those two is a combo. They're an amazing prep for styling hair. 
the Smart Start I use first, then I use the Wonder Balm after that, brush it through, blow dry, or even just scrunch my hair, you know, plop it and do whatever. My Ride or Die, I will be repurchasing this. It smells nice, works to detangle, makes my hair soft. It is a heat protectant. It has so much going for it. Cat's Pajamas, Cat's Pajamas. All right, so Innersense's Dry Shampoo. So I really like this and I think Innersense is best for people who like to wear their hair in its natural state. That's when I use their products the most. Like right now my hair, I heat styled it. Like this is not my natural curl. I do have natural curl to my hair, but it was really frizzy today. So I just heat styled it. And I like to use whenever I'm wearing my natural hair, I think that's when it works best. I think that's what it's formulated for as well. That's just my two cents on it. But this is seriously the best dry shampoo because it's so unique, especially if you're a curly headed girl, it is wet, but it also has like kind of powder suspended in it as well to like soak up the oil, but it's wet as well. So you do have to shake it before you use it. It's more like a foam and it just is so nice at getting rid of oil and the scalp and refreshing hair. I think it works best on natural hair because if I used it on my hair like this, it would become, because of that wetness and water and I have heat set, I think it would become a little bit more frizzy because, you know, this again, this is not my natural curl, but with natural curls, and I do, I would say my hair is like, a, it's pretty wavy. It's It has some curl to it. It works really nicely to refresh like my natural dues. So would recommend this, check it out. So I did repurchase a ton of these minis. These are the Innersense Hair Love Prep Spray. I had the full version. This actually, it sounds like it's full. It has water in it. I refilled it just with water to use whenever I do wear my hair natural and I wanna refresh it, this is what I use. But this actually has the real product in it. It's their Hair Love Prep Spray. You may be asking, why did she repurchase these tiny bottles? Well, Beauty Heroes was having a sale on their sales section and I saw that they had this and they had this product and I was empty of it and I really liked it for styling my hair in its natural state. Well, the sale was only on these, so it was like, 20% off of these mini sizes and then another 20% off on top of that. So it's just a really good deal. I effectively like got a full bottle for free. So that's why I purchased it like this. You know, it's in minis. It's fine. It's what it is. It still has the same product in it. But I have liked this. This one I like a lot more than their other one. I'm trying to remember. It's like their other hair detangler. I can't remember the name of it. That one just does not work well with my hair. The Hair Love Prep Spray has a little bit more, I feel like, detangling for tangles. I know that sounds weird, but my hair does get kind of some rat's nests in it. That's what my mom always called them. And this works to detangle really well after shower. It's really nice when I plop my hair again. Um, what I do is I just spray this all over. It's very wet. I know that sounds odd, but it is a very wet product. So I think it is really good for plopping because you need a lot of water and moisture for your curls to hold. So I've liked this. I would recommend it. It does have some heat protectant in it. I think it's a little bit, it's wet and it is a little bit sticky. I almost feel like it's too sticky to use if I'm like heat styling my hair. So I would prefer to use my Evolve H a uh, smart start if I'm heat prepping my hair. If I'm wearing it natural, I'm fine. If it's a little bit sticky, it kind of evaporates out of there or something. And your, my hair doesn't feel sticky once it's dry, but I do feel like when it's wet, it's a little bit sticky and it's hard to style with when it's wet, like heat style and use a round brush and all that. All right, and then I have an empty of this. So this is the Innersense I Create Waves. And then kind of same thing with the hair love prep where I purchased a bunch of these because these were what were like 20% off of 20%. I'm almost empty of this one. And then I have one in my gym bag over there. So one of the things about this is very salty. So great, an amazing product as a, you know, sea salt spray when I'm wearing my hair natural. I do think it adds to my curl, to my natural texture, has a nice lavender scent to it, very light. And I've really liked it for styling my hair naturally. The only thing is, is I feel like sometimes because of its like salt kind of nature, it's hard to spray this and get everything out towards the end. I think it kind of gets stuck in the pump. So that is 
that's just my own personal thought on it. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I have liked it. I think the formulation overall is the best like sea salt spray I've used. It's pretty lightweight. It's actually not as sticky as Hair Love Prep, I feel. Um, it's pretty lightweight and pretty easy to use. Just like like to scrunch it. That's why I'm doing this motion. Like I like to use this when I scrunch my hair and then plop it. Good one. Holds my texture and curl in place. All right, all. So thank you so much for sitting through listening to me talk about all of these products. These are again, just things that I have repurchased consistently. I like to use them till empty. I like to support these brands and I just think they have good product and these are like my favorite products. So yeah, let me know your thoughts below. And thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you subscribe and like this video before you leave. And have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.